Hello everybody, my name is Slushing. Today we are going to do seemingly the impossible. We're going to defend why the Browns aren't a bad team. Now you're probably going to think right away, how the hell is this good dude going to pull this off? Because they literally haven't had a winning season since like 2007. And well, I have proof and reasons to back it up. So let's just get into this right off the bat and not even hesitate. So one main reason why I think the Browns aren't a bad team is simply almost every game they play comes down to the wire. It's literally anything can happen kind of game. And to me, that doesn't mean that literally means that you are a contender. This means that you do have a good team. You just cannot come clutch in the last few seconds or the other team so happens to be lucky in the last few minutes. That sort of comes down to luck. Whenever you got a game that's really down to the wire, it's like anything can happen. You know, and to me, that doesn't mean you're a bad team. It really doesn't. It's just a bad, it's really bad luck. And they've had so many games where the refs seemingly call the game for the other team. Like there's a play, there's a game back in 2001 with Jacksonville Jaguars and the Cleveland Browns. White lines up as the single setback. Couch pumping, looks backside underneath. And it's caught Morgan with the catch at the 10. Did a tremendous job to hang on to the football. Gets the first down. Clock still running. Now just spike the ball. Don't even waste the play. Or maybe they're even calling a play. And he spikes it. And the clock stops with 48 seconds remaining. So this is what we've been told. That the replay officials on the previous play, the fourth down play, they tried to, to buzz the referees on the field. And they wanted the ref to take a look at where the ball was on the Quincy Morgan reception to review it. Replay buzzed prior to the snap. We'll be looking to see if the last pass was incomplete or complete. It's too late. It's too late. Because Another play had already been won, been run. And How I, can you go back two plays? And I guess there was a malfunction in the system. That's what they said. They were buzzing down, trying to get the replay. I didn't see and the red flag come out from the Jag side. Butch line. Davis is going to argue this until he's blue in the face. And now they're going to call that the game. That is the end of the game. Unbelievable. Now they call the game. Well, that was With the right 48 call. seconds to go. Yeah, you got to take... I think that I think this has been just a fiasco by the referees today. The officials are still trying to sort things out. Jacksonville keeps the ball. No timeouts remaining for either team. And now the Jaguars huddle up. And they will take a knee for two plays. And the Cleveland Browns fall to six up. And seven down. The, the game went to the Jags when there's a good chance that the Browns could have possibly scored, therefore winning the game, potentially heading to the playoffs, or at least giving themselves a playoff spot. So that's not a guarantee they would have won the, in the playoffs, but there's also a possibility that if they would have won that game, you don't know what could have happened. What if they would have went to the Super Bowl? What if they would have won the Super Bowl? And then people wouldn't be looking at them like they're this horrible team. That's one instance only. There's also a game against the Ravens. Field goal is blocked. And they're running it down the sideline, and it's clear the returner is on the sideline, and they still rule it a touchdown. Will Hill is going to win the game on a blocked field goal! Unbelievable! <laughs> Will Hill thrill me! What a play! That's just, that. like I said, that's just two instances out of, you know, just the fact that they have two, they seem to be surrounded by all these close games these mysteries it's it's such an interesting and fascinating topic to even try to get into why the whole legacy of the browns the fact that they've had so many times when they could have had incredible seasons and so many bad things have gone wrong there's even teams even teams where you're, you'd be surprised at how close the games are like in the in the years that they go one in 15 or oh and 16 it's actually looks a lot worse than what it actually is because, like I said, many of those games are down to the wire. So it may look, yeah, they're own 16. So technically, by NFL standards, they're a bad team. But are they really? 
Like, are, are, are the people on the team actually bad? Or is it their record that is bad? And I'll completely vouch. Their records, as of late, have been terrible. They've had terrible records. But I do believe, deep inside me, that they do have incredible teams. And they've had incredible teams for quite a while. And I'm saying from 2001, even though it sounds crazy, up till now, they've had really good teams. Really big chances to do something good. And like I said, luck just seems to not be on their side. And it doesn't matter. It seems like no matter how much effort they put into the game, no matter who they get on their team, they've got the stars from college who are absolutely incredible athletes who have done nothing for the team, you know, win-wise. And it's just bizarre. They get so close, and yet they're always getting that win pulled right out of their grasp. And in a sense, I do feel bad for them. But I, I can only hope that eventually they get what's coming for them which is a good season, playoff, a playoff chance, and potentially even a Super Bowl. And I can only hope for the fans of Cleveland Browns that you guys do get that. Am I a fan of the Cleveland Browns? I'm not. I'm not going to say I hate them. I don't hate them whatsoever. I think that they are a very fun team to watch because, like I said, they are very competitive. Even with these really good teams, they stay within close range with the Pittsburgh Steelers, who are one of the best teams in the league almost every year, or at least a very good competitor. The Baltimore Ravens, the Dolphins, I can keep going. They always are in competition with even some of the best teams in the league in their worst years. So to me, is that a bad team? If you can compete with the best, to me, you are real, you have a really good team. So honestly, I really don't even feel like I should even go in depth. But that's that's literally my account of why the Browns are not a bad team. Now, go ahead and post your thoughts down below. I'll be interested to read what you guys have to say. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that are going to disagree with this because their record is their records are always horrible. But got to say, I have high hopes for the Browns. I really hope they get a good year going, and maybe they'll surprise us all. So I'll be looking out for the Browns this year, and I'll even be cheering for them for the first time ever. And I hope you guys give support to the Browns. They need it, okay? And let's get some wins on the boards, Browns. Hit like, subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and hit that bell to get notified anytime I make a video or stream, and keep up to date with the channel. There's always something crazy going on, something crazy more than defending the Cleveland Browns. And stay tuned for more in defense of, because we'll be back really soon. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.